Smoky Smoky Barbershop Podcast episode number looking at what 205 205 coming to you live from Boxo Studio, the beautiful city of Hamilton, Ontario, under the shadow of the great Hamilton Mountain. We are the blast furnace of live original music in this country, Canada, and perhaps the world. As I said, over 204 episodes, this being number 205, a fantastic, great original music we got the story we got the songs got it all here at barbershop podcast want to thank you for coming out on this very special super spooky halloween episode everyone's favorite holiday i don't even know if it's a holiday it's an excuse for adults to get drunk and for kids to get candy it's a great great time and i feel sorry for anyone who isn't allowed to celebrate halloween even if you can't have that sweet candy or for some reason you can't go out and dance with the goblins, you can tonight. It's a rock and roll experience. We have the one and only Crip Creeper in the house. They uh, a band, a rock and roll band out of Hamilton uh, featuring some of the great rock and roll guys who love uh, and gal out of music. Yeah, they're going to say about that. The, uh, the royal guys. Uh, some great history here on uh, in who's involved in Crypt Creeper and uh, thrilled to have them in the studio on this Wednesday night for our special Halloween episode. How are, how are you doing, everyone? How are you doing, Kevin? Awesome. Good. I'm, awesome. I'm doing really good. I'm going to drink it. Just drink start it, it off, you know, and I think that is the magic elixir of Barbershop Podcast. Is it not? It, it is. is. <laughs> you get a couple, you know, every other you got to go into some studio and you got to grind it out and sit there and you, you can't drink openly. And here you can... You can drink and swear. Oh, fuck no. Yeah, really? yeah <laughs> totally. It's still, oh, before no, before they close yeah. down the internet, this is the beautiful thing about it. And My we, mom's going to watch us. I'm not swearing. Okay, <laughs> never. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Rock and roll. This is what we do. Let's tell a story quickly of Crip Creeper. Let's stop. Uh, start with Rob Elmer. Uh, you've probably got a heck of a history with this band. Tell me about how it started and uh, bringing it up to like today. Oh, it started, actually started out with uh, Candy and uh, Brian Bryce back in the day with, um, they were doing a band called Funhouse. Yeah. And then me and um, a bandmate from my old band, Samuel's Five, we joined, turned into Punk Rods, and then it all just kind of evolved into Crib Creeper over the years, different members, but it's been me and Candy since the beginning, and then we got, obviously, Tim, Lou, and Al in there. And, and you know, both those, those bands being a bit more of a, 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 a traditional punk sound, this one being more of a rock and roll sound, like growing up, were you yeah, kind of uh, uh, I was split all between the, the two? Yeah? All, all over the place. Liked it all if it was loud and, and yeah, in your but face? Yeah, no, I, I had the folks, it was the country. Yeah. Barbara Mandrell. Yeah. Stuff like that. You know, Reba McIntyre. You got to appreciate Still good like songwriting. It, you got to appreciate good oh, mix. Yeah, and that's, you know, being across the board, it's important that you have that. We've got Tim Bloxham here on vocals. Tim, uh, what's your story with the band? Well, uh, they were the punk rods before I joined, and uh, their singer stopped singing. And they asked me to try out for them, and I seemed to be a pretty good fit. And it's we've been kicking ass ever since. Fit the bill, because there's a thing about called chemistry and, and uh, commitment, dedication. People got to believe that this is what they want to do. They got to show up. They got to try hard. And he had a truck. And he had and a he truck. Had a truck. Ding, 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 ding. There's the secret answer. <laughs> and I'm a singer, right? So yeah. this, well, I got a microphone. That. That's it, right? <laughs> now, uh, Lou, J, Lou J. Barassa, you've been in a uh, number of rock and roll outfits over the years. Yeah, but they all kind of like go with, coincide together. Like There's you an know. incestuous kind yeah, of yeah, uh, twist like to the whole one thing. To the other, oh, yes, he's real yeah. incestuous. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> and speaking of that, well, quite, we are family. quite often Al Thompson is, uh, you know, uh, not too far away in that experience. <laughs> did, Always did, did a right hand man Did Lou J. drag you in this? or uh, Yes, actually, he uh, sent me a CD. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, look, get ready, do your stuff. We're looking for a bass player. We need someone to, to cover. And I was supposed to be just a cover until someone That's came back. That's how it back. always works. But <laughs> it stuck, and it was great, and here we it is. Em. You love him. We love him. Two and a half years, man, almost yeah. three. And Candy Rotten, you played for some great outfits, and you always seem to be someone who everyone admires because you play fiercely, incredibly well, and you can still put your own style on it. So were you, uh, be, would you drag kicking and screaming into this outfit, or was this something that you wanted to do from the get-go? 
Ever since I was a kid, I was tapping along to music. I just loved the idea of drums. And I met my husband, and I told him that, and he took me to Pongetti's and bought me a kit, and that was it. Yeah, and you weren't screwing around because you, you stuck to it, right? And it's good that you have passion. It could be a passion. And buy your kids instruments if they say they want to do it. Absolutely. If they don't, they, oh, you yeah. can always put it down. You never know when they'll pick it up again. It's a good investment. Right. Well, we're here for rock and roll. We have a rock and roll agenda, certainly okay. on this Halloween episode of Barbershop Podcast. We always start with a live tune. What are you going to start with us tonight? So I'll go Wolves of Odin. One of well, our newest ones. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're going to hear it. Like, it, it. Is there anything you want to tell us about it before I introduce it? It's about the gods. Well, there you go. <laughs> Odin being, you know. Odin p- being. Being the so kick god. So god. All right, here they are. Chris Crick, Crick Creeper right here, right now. Gods of Odin, barbershoppodcast.com.
Crypt Creeper with the Walls of Odin. A rock wolves and of roll. Odin. Wolves. wolves of Road of Odin. Wolves. Uh, I, the rock and roll has crushed my hearing. I bet. But it's, it's, it's sustaining my will to live, so it's a saw. <laughs> I like it. Let's talk about that. Quick, we like to talk about music as an agent of change. And clearly, like you you guys em- embrace the fact that rock and roll was the, the scary it terrified a generation. It thrilled yeah. our generation, but it scared the fuck out of our our parents and our grandparents. It's awesome. Do you, do, you, do you feel kind of like compelled that you have to keep that element in rock and roll? You can't yeah. let it get too too. It's got to be scary, man. Yeah, it's got to oh, be gotta intense be. and scary. Sure. That's what they say. The people don't want to see the guy next door. They want to see this freaking. True. Too many musicians try really hard to look very normal when they get on stage. It's like, what's the fun in that? Uh, you're cutting some tunes and you brought them in. I always like when bands come in and they share stuff with us because you got to start the buzz, get people talking about it, looking forward to the project and the record when it comes out. I know, Rob, you've been working on this recording and uh, everyone's been involved in it. Yeah. Um, it's actually been a while, this recording. Really? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. This is recorded about three years ago, actually. Oh, and, and, well, and, not really. There's been new stuff added to it in the last couple well, of yeah. months, so not really. But the bass, it, it's it's just it's it, it happens quite often. The project right? started a while ago. Yeah. It's just yes. been yeah. ongoing. You got a, you got a working name for the project yet? What it's a know? self-titled Crypt Creeper, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. And and there that, is when, that, you, when you see it come through, there is a quite a number of bands who you know are are in the genre. You could have a whole like month of a ghoul rock or whatever you ghoul want to call rock. it, yeah. where people. And Halloween coming up, of course, in a couple of days. It's a gr- it's one of the most popular bar nights because people oh, sure. want to let loose and be yeah. somebody else, right? I'd rather go on yeah. Halloween than on New Year's. Yeah, it's oh, true. Yeah. It's like it's a cab home. And it's and it's somehow you're allowed to still have fun when you're an adult. You know, <laughs> I remember I'm coming across some eight millimeter films of my aunts and uncles, and my, and they had some drunken Halloween parties. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know that. It was so funny to see. Say, oh yeah, adults have fun on Halloween too. You guys got a Halloween gig coming up this year? No, no you, yeah. it's busy when you get when you start working in the studio. You get all grindy. And That's you what the problem was, right? We yeah. got working on yeah. nobody really paid attention yeah. back in April that we should book a yeah. Halloween show, right? Because yeah. the bands will will the, the the woodshed and they'll play and get good, and then they gotta go and camp out when they start digging in the studio stuff. Well, let's give them a taste of that. First one we're gonna play is a tune called "No Man's Friend." What's this one about? Um, that's you, Timmy. Just, I wrote it about some days, you know, you wake up and you're just pissed off at the world, don't want to fucking talk to anybody, don't want to leave the house, just fed up with everything and every, everyone. Fuck the world, basically. So, yeah, it's just kind of like, you know, today I just Feel don't like want to fucking deal with the world, right? No man's so, friend. So, no man's friend. Love it. Crypt Creeper, no man's friend, right here, right now, barbershoppodcast.com.
No Man's Friend from Crypt Creeper, tonight's spooky Halloween rock and roll guest, uh, Barbershop Podcast, bringing you all kinds of music each and every week. Uh, you can find us at barbershoppodcast.com or Google it. We're everywhere. I want to give a shout out to our great friends over at Hamilton Artists. Hamilton Artists, located at 627 Main Street East in Hamilton, Ontario. They print anything on anything and everything on everything. Uh, they can wrap it. They can etch it. They can stick it. They are the people. You got a message to get out? Hamilton Artists are the people to help you get it out. Big or small, the message is yours and they are your contact in the greater Hamilton area. They are a local business and they are artists and they are friends of Barbershop Podcast, so they're friends of ours. Uh, I said that twice. No, no, they're our <laughs> friends. All right. I'm pretty sure it made sense. But anyway, check them out. Hamilton Artist, 627 Main Street East in Hamilton, Ontario. Crypt Creeper is in the house tonight. They are doing the rock and roll sensation. Uh, is uh, is is at any point like a, a ballad on your agenda or like like because there's that was like a, a ballad, rock actually that, that was not a ballad. <laughs> 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 Serpentra's a ballad. Serpentra's <laughs> a ballad. <laughs> <Serpentra's laughs> <our ballad. laughs> what would you figure is your lowest beats per minute that in oh, the song boy. that you have? Right? Okay. Probably Serpentra. Serpentra. Serpentra maybe? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is still pretty up we'll there. We'll play that one in a minute. But yeah. it's something up there. So having a bit of texture, it's like having people. It's it's. It's, it's a commodity in, in your game. What you do is to have people move and kind of react and come up and become aggressive. And when we become joyfully aggressive, right, yeah. people see that and it's like, oh, my God. It's like, yeah, but nobody's really punching anyone. They're just dancing no, and bouncing off each other. Fun, right? Friend, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's amateur section <laughs> wrestling without the grappling. It's uh, like golf. That's the only sport that condones drinking and driving. <laughs> Rock and roll is the only sport of music that condones fucking kicking the shit out of your buddy that nobody gives a shit. Nobody. They hug and, and love it. afterwards. After yeah. the fact. All right. Uh, love the music and love the fact that you've come into the show. We're going to do another live one. What are you going to do next for us? Do a song called, it was originally called Walk in the Dark. This is actually, this is an original punk rock song. Right. That we wrote for a friend of ours who uh, tragically took his own life. And uh, we just kind of carried it over because he was a good guy. So then we just, it was Walk in the Dark, Suicide, Brackets. So we just changed it to Suicide and we've been doing it ever since. Yeah. Punk Rod's carried it over all the way. Oh, it's good to hear. Punk Rod's one of Hamilton's great bands. Love Brian and love that he continues to evolve musically and do what he does. I'm glad that he's left a legacy. I'm glad that you wrote a song that really meant something about somebody and sends a message to everyone. Yeah. All right. We're going to hear it right here, right now, live on Barbershop Podcast. Dot com. Suicide on my mind. Suicide all the time. Let today forget tomorrow. Let every sad that I spoke my mind. Flash on the dark. Oh, not my bird. I walk in the dark and see a pain.
Suicide on my mind. Suicide all the time. Let the day forget tomorrow. Let it be said that I spoke my mind. I shot the dog. Oh, not my bird. I walk in the dark. Well done. Now, representing Crip Creeper here at Barbershop Podcast, the rock and roll, punk, morbidity school of kickassery. You've got a nice <laughs> slice of it here at Barbershop Podcast, bringing you the full flavor. Every bit of what is the Hamilton and greater area music scene. I tell you, we got people coming in from all over the place now. People driving, like, not just from Toronto, but, like, through Toronto to come to Barbershop Podcast, see this show, talk to a fella yesterday from Argentina, who's a uh, friend, uh, who's a fan of the show. I'm always blown away when we get these people who get a hold of me and ask them how, you know, they came across the show. I'm curious how they stumbled. And uh, it's a really neat thing to have somebody from a completely other part of the world kind of stumble into something that we take for granted, just like the the escarpment and the waterfalls and, you know, Niagara Falls. I mean, it makes you go over there drink, hey, drinking creeper. every day. And cricket, <laughs> like all the music. We just assume it's there. But we have to be thankful that it's there. And we have to support it. We have to feed, feed, feed the ground so that the music may grow. And that means you going out and supporting live music. That means you going to shows. That means you buying CDs, physical CDs, copies from people who poured their heart and soul into it, wrote it, produced it, recorded it. And I mean, it's so much better than, you know, a download from a multimillionaire. I just can't explain the difference. Uh, if you're not a fan of collecting and curating music on your own, you should start. It's a beautiful thing. We love to promote that here at Barbershop Podcast. Crip Creeper is in the house. They are spookily, fantastically good and uh, playing some real rock and roll for us. Uh, working on a record, a Crip Creeper self-titled uh, debut. Uh, is it a debut? You got something out yet? That's a Crip no, Creeper. A, this would be it. Cool. Be it first. Yeah. So this next tune is called "The Rain." Has it been around for a while, or has it been? Uh, is this kind of a new one? Yeah, it's 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 an old one. Well, an oldie but a goodie. Yeah, it's a classic. I, I, I love. <laughs> it will be a classic. <laughs> it's not seen the light of day though, so that's a Sometime. wonderful thing. It's been cooking. It's been, been cooking, it's been yeah. steeping. It's been Simmering. aging in, in oak barrels. Yeah. <laughs> Fine <laughs> the, bottle of wine. The proof rate is just right. It's got a nice snap on it. All right. Uh, anything you want to tell? Did you write this one too? Uh, uh, no. Actually, no. Actually, oh, that's right. Brian, funny, right? funny story. No, no. The funny story. But this is actually started off as a punk rock song, and then we kind of redid it. But it actually took play. We got the name from Candy's. Got this shot glass thing that says "Pick your poison." You press the button, and it's like Russian roulette. So it goes around, and you, whoever loses takes the shot. So, and it said, "Pick your poison." That's where we got the name from. That's not pick your poison. No. That's the rain. Oh, I'm doing the, the rain. rain. I was oh, wondering how yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the wrong thing. <laughs> Tell us about that story. Yeah, uh, I don't. The rain was just it's just a song. It's about too. mutants and zombies and tearing people's heads off. <laughs> I love it. Mutants and zombies. <laughs> more brains. <laughs> more I'm an idiot. Brains. <laughs> Why didn't somebody stop me? The <laughs> rain on barbershoppodcast.com. And it starts with the rain.
Crip Creeper in here at Barbershop Podcast. That was The Rain. Another song I am never going to accuse you guys of having a lack of energy, a lack of verve, and a lack of general Just need a bigger space. direction. <laughs> no, that cannot be the case. <laughs> oh, it rhymes! <laughs> if you're going to deny someone, rhyme with them. That should be yeah. the thing, right? Make it sweet. All right, we are rocking and rolling. We're on a bit of a schedule, rushing through it a little bit tonight. Um, and it's just because there's nothing better to talk about than rock and roll, right? Oh, so yeah. I won't try to get big and philosoph- uh, philosophical on you with the whole situation, other than uh, it's good for the soul, right? Yeah, it's Music, I mean, you play it because you love to do it. Yeah, I mean, people. Music is everything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where you know when you make a connection with an audience, you actually, it, it, you, it, it doesn't compare to anything else. You really, you know, it's fantastic. And uh, having done it, and uh, I remember the guys in Blue Rodeo talked about that. They're all working at the post office at the time, and then when they got their first little tour, and then they got back to the post office, they're like, "Holy fuck!" I, I, they're wreck- comparing us to Blue Rodeo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> win wards, win money. You guys are forging your own way. I'm glad that you're doing it, and there's absolutely a market. There's people, tons and tons of people who love this music. They are. Um, um, people who love the, the 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 gore movies, they love the horror movies, they love zombies, they oh, love yeah. the zombie apocalypse. Well, uh, who doesn't love that? If yeah, you love that. Then it's but before yeah. it was just a few, and now it's 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 so so embraced. Extreme. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's like you know to do this kind of music for somebody who'd never seen experience. They're like, wow, I can't believe. You know, but uh, like if you really understood, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people just in this area. Like on Saturday, there's going to be a zombie walk, right? And how and in how many cities are going to have a zombie walk with how many hundreds of people who spend the time to get all dressed up to get macabre and and feel part of that, right? Yeah, there's people all, do that all over the world now. Though, yes, yeah. Mexicans were doing that with their, you know, it's like the celebration of the, the Dia de la Muerte. Yes, yes, the death and the yeah. magic that's associated with it. Yes. We got a bit of magic in here tonight. We're going to do another live number. What are you going to do for us next? Uh, Serpentra. Serpentra. This is the slow one, as I've been it's, told. It's our ballad, <laughs> <laughs> It's rock and roll. Surely, right here, right now, on Barbershop Podcast. <laughs>
Creeper here at Barbershop Podcast, our special spooky Halloween episode. Another great tune, another great sponsor, great friend of ours over at uh, Taxes Done Right. Give Heather a call. There's a the number. Uh, what can I say? You're either lazy and you haven't got it done, you need someone to help you out get it done, or you don't want to have to get in trouble. You want it, someone to do it for you. They want uh, you want them to do it right. Get a hold of them. Uh, taxes done right, and they'll do right by you. All right. Barbershop Podcast bringing you an incredible, an incredible searing uh, <laughs> show of rock and roll. Very impressed with the toitness. What are you doing on strap in there? Where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere. Are you give us another one? Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you, you know, I think I just, I, I want so much so uh, from you, but we have to be good. What are we looking at time-wise? Anyone got a time? No, time no timekeeper. 1002. 1002. All right. We're going to call it a show. It's going to be a relatively short but sweet show. I'm going to play one more, though. All right. And then we're going to come back and we're going to have our final thoughts. I'm going to pass it around the room and everyone has the length of this song to think about their final thoughts and what they're going to leave. Everyone can be a Jerry Springer on this particular <laughs> show. Well, we but first, fight midgets? Yes, well, fight midgets. But awesome. he, even ding, he's, ding, ding. he's soft and gentle after the fact. He's Sorry, like, tells you people. why it's good. Yes, yes thank you. People. Walk the Earth. What's the story on this tune? It's another zombie. <laughs> it's just fast as fuck and heavy and uh, it's violent. Oh, here. Yeah. So That's about the only way to have it. All right. Go right shit, have fun. Let's Trigger. do it. Right here at barbershoppodcast.com. Eat brains.
Grip Creeper. Kicking ass tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Before we head out, what is? Yes. Yeah, thanks yes, for having us. Yeah, Glad we could again, finally man. do it. Awesome. I know. I punted you about three years ago. Two years ago, could bed make room for Tom Wilson. Guy does 250 gigs a year. Lou J forgets he has a microphone. Yeah, on. he does have a microphone. He does, on. yeah, but it's just like you got a mic on, on Lou. Yeah. Don't forget it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But then stop. All right, maybe you can drown him out. What's your he final thought, there, Rob? Uh, what the whole night? Yeah, the whole night. Oh, no, your yeah. career, rock and roll. I don't care what you got to say. Man, it was a good night. It was good party. It was good fun. Just drinking, playing tunes. Gonna love it. Everybody's loving it. So hey, let's cool. let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, indeed. Tim, Tom. Tom, Tim, Tom, Tim, Tim, Tim. Tim. <laughs> Geek to scary. Uh, it was a great night, man. Had a lot of fun. Thanks for having us. Oh, um, a lot of fun. Future, what are your plans? What are your thoughts? Rock and roll, going to keep doing it? Keep doing it? Oh, oh, yeah. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I have no choice Can in the matter. Stop? You can't stop old. rock and roll. Yeah. Too <laughs> old. Aren't we too old already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the baby. Oh, you're the baby. That's right. How about you, Luge? Like, oh, never stopping. Yeah. I'll be dying. Playing. Yeah. Smile on my face. It's true. It's true. People do notice that if someone ever had to take a guitar away from you, it'd be a sad world for all of us. Oh. It'll be true. Suck. And Al, you'll go anywhere there's a rock and roll party, won't you? Creeps in the veins, yeah. keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> I always plan it. Candy, yeah, how about you? Any final thoughts on the whole business, rock and roll, music tonight? I just do it for fun, and I have a lot of fun. And I love these guys. It is shows. And thank it's you very I'm much. It's because I'm so adorable. Oh, oh look at that true. face. Come on. It's oh my beautiful. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For Ryan Candy, who doesn't have a mic tonight, so he couldn't be chit chatty, and Gary Greenland, and everyone. I think he's scared of us. He didn't, he didn't want to come out of the scared of nobody on Barbershop Don't be Podcast. Scared. And rock and roll. What are you, are we would like to show? make a donation. Would you? To, to you guys for your new cameras. Yes. As a band. Yes. And we'd like to challenge all the other bands who have been on your show and who is going to be on the show. Ho, ho, ho! So we would like to donate. What do we got? 40, 60, what do we got? I got 20 on me. All right. Let's go with that. Let's go. 60 bucks. Let's go. $60. I got cigarette wrappers. So. We got cigarette wrappers. We have got a GoFundMe campaign. It is going Go right now. We reached uh, Go fuck me. about 40, Ow. I don't know, 35%, 30% of our goal. We're going right, to, right, not that we don't love these $35 <laughs> webcams, but about we'd like to get some color new all cameras. All the bands that have been on this show or are coming on this show, we challenge every one of you to match us up here and get these guys some new cameras. Let's get them out. Cool. Here Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. This from it. Crip Creeper right there. Creeping our love. Some cash. All right. All right. Lots of love. Barbershop men. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. everyone! Yeah. Visit, our, uh, oh. visit our page. Visit our Twitter page at Podcast Barber. Just Google us. Have a great time. Oh. Barbershop Podcast. Have a great night. Bills.